Sam, you didn't turn Larry Tate into a horse, did you? Well... <laughs> How great is Bewitched. I wish we lived in the 60s. Men wore suits and drank martinis all day long. Francine, starting tomorrow, I want you to greet me at the door with a martini when I get home from work. Stan, martinis are pretty strong, and you're not much of a drinker. What? Just last week at Sanders Barbecue, I poured a whole amber lager down my mighty throat in just under two hours. All right. I guess it does sound kind of fun. Oh, I Dream of Genie is on next. No one else sounds fun? You start wearing see-through pants and living in a bottle. The CIA has a great shrink ray. I'd carry tiny you around and feed you grains of rice. <laughs> Come on, do it. Honey, I'm home. Hi, dear. Martini? Perfect. Just like Darren and Sam. So elegant. Cheers, darling. Stan, get in the car. Hey, Roger. Hey, you got Clearly, you can't handle your gin. Now get in, damn it. Vault! Hey, where's my martini? You're not getting one. You can't handle your alcohol. Of course I can. Yesterday, I just had to get the kinks worked out. Tonight, I'm ready to live like a gentleman of the 60s. Now, martini me, sweetheart. I tell you, I was in the best shape of my life. I was closer to God than I've ever been, and I was flush with cash. Stan, I really don't want to talk about the fifth grade anymore. Fine. How, how did you... How did you do that? Do what? You passed out, and I went and got you water. I barely blinked. And things that all change, like on Bewitched. <gasps> Where did you get that broom? Did you ride that broom into the living room because you're a witch? <gasps> ah! I'm married to a witch! Your father won't be joining us for dinner. I'm sorry our horse for two costume freaked him out, Mrs. 